welcome back to our channel and today we have the kids home from school this is actually funny stories Liam had a birthday party yesterday and here's the really sad part he hasn't had a birthday party since 2019 because he had a scheduled one on tw uh, 2020 and uh, it actually got moved one week because someone else had a birthday party at the same time Liam and is such a gentleman yeah so I'll move my birthday one week and we went to lockdown <laughs> and we haven't had a birthday since. I mean, he we have celebrated his birthday, obviously, and we have had family here, but we hadn't had a party with his friends. So he was so excited. So we had a scavenger hunt. We had all these games and fun things, and everything was great. Whose birthday party is it today? Mine. Well, what are, what are we serving? Um, grapes. Drinks? No. Grapes. grapes and? Watermelon. And? Cherries. Cherries. And? Okay, tell me what's, what is it? Show the okay, mason jars. So we filled it with jars. candy. Did so you there's, buy like, Hope? Um, yeah. there's like chocolate covered nuts, banana things, some gummies and stuff from Sweden. And then in the evening we find out that one of the kids tested positive for COVID. And we're not blaming the family. We know they are very careful because they have a high risk person in the family. So they did not do this on purpose. He did not have any symptoms, but that means that we've been exposed. So we decided to stay home today, keep the kids home, which is really cozy. I love the fact that we can actually keep them home. The kids asked for kindergarten soup and for kindergarten bread. Kindergarten soup is something all water schools do every week. Kids bring in a vegetable from home on that particular day each week so that the kids are connected to the soup. And they also have the kids cut up all the vegetables and put it in the pot. Every Waldorf kindergarten class has a classroom in the classroom, and so they then get to smell the soup cook the whole time they play in the morning. So by the time it's time to eat the soup, they are just really excited. So Noah and Liam are home today. No, Liam and Daddy took uh, the dog to the vet because he's not feeling so good. So me and Noah, what are we making? Good. So Noah just added oil and water. Okay, let's turn it on. Morning glory bread, we just changed this a little bit. How we make it? In the kindergarten, every day is a different day. So it's like one day is oatmeal, one day is millet day, right? And one day is soup day. And the soup day, everyone, all the kids bring their own vegetables and you add it to the soup. The oatmeal and rice and beans, they were the best. And Baking bread is the best. It's not all gone. I mean, you can see it, but it's like dough. Okay, so while this is rising, we're gonna go uh, harvest some vegetables for the soup, okay? Where? In the garden, obviously. There. Just cook this broth and then we're gonna add the vegetables to it. Okay, let's go get the vegetables for the soup. Come on. Excited. Carrots first. Can you pull up some carrots? Yeah. Should I pull up this one? Yeah. We did need a couple, I think. Those are so, so wow. tiny. There's some big big ones in there you can get. Oh yes. This little guy can come in. I don't know why he was like, oh, that's a bunching one. That's great. I think that's enough. Or take that one that's also sitting loose there. Yay. Okay, let's see if we have a squash that we can. Squash. Yeah. Oh, I see a big one. Do you see it? Oh. That one. Yay. Can you get him? Just get the one. Yeah. So you have to twist it. All right, we got it. Yeah. All right, what do you think? We should give those greens. Um, do you want anything else? Oh, have you seen this? Oh, I have seen that, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go make kindergarten soup. We have some cabbage potatoes inside too. All right, let me get you a cutting board. Okay, bye. Do it slowly. I'm just gonna start it because it's a little sticky in the beginning. Yeah, no, all my hands are not. But look, do you see all that? That's meaning that the rose. It put sticky in yours. Yeah. In the beginning, a little sticky, so I can get it going. So you don't have to get so sticky. How about that? One house, how's Astrid doing? I haven't heard anything. It's just so oh, it's remember, sticky there. Do that, like, it's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then move. Yay, turn it. Remember you turn it? Yes, you got it. Huh, daddy never learned how to do this. So just turn it and go. Do you feel how elastic it's getting? Put it in here. What's the extra? Oh, I didn't know if I needed an extra. Oh, don't let them. And now we're gonna let it rise for another 30 minutes. Perfect. 
Good job. So the secret to kindergarten soup is there has to be kids mm -hmm. cutting the vegetables, right? You're doing very good job. Any left, like the bottoms or the tops, you can put them in here and we can feed them to the chickens or the bunny. He will be very happy. We also have cabbage from the garden, carrots from the garden, celery, and potatoes from the garden. Do you think should be anything else in the kindergarten soup or do you think that's good? Um, there could be some beans also. Yeah. Okay, potatoes Baby. are in. Look at that. Then we're going to add them to the soup. Do you want to help me add them to the soup? Yes. And the bread is rising there. Look at that. Rise, rise, rise. And here's the bro broth. The pot is a little hot, so be careful when you put them in. It's going to splash if you turn them down. Yay! Whoa, good job. We're going to let that cook now. We're going to turn it on and oh, cook it I all know. off. Oh, I know. It was really good. Gonna let it simmer until the uh, bread is done. All right, you can. You are done, my little sous chef. Thank you so much. You may go and play. Yes. I made a Okay, James, you have to come and smell it. Right. Kindergarten soup. Okay. So I, I, I'm hoping it's gonna be because every time I try to make it, they don't mm, like it. Smells so, really but good. I believe that the secret to kindergarten soup is the kids have yes, to. I'll stay for lunch. Yeah, and then Noah baked bread, and he yeah. has. You should see it. Love it. Yay! This uh, is the loaf that we've been rising now for 30 minutes, and the way to make sure it's like ready to put in is you just push a little bit. If it pushes back and doesn't leave an indent, it's actually ready to be put in the oven. That's so just thing that I learned from my mom who um, taught me to bake. So 350, we're gonna put it in and it's 11, so I'm hoping we will have bread by lunchtime. So I'll put that in, the bread is in, the soup is simmering, life is good. And the boys, I don't think they're missing school at all. The soup changes depending on what time of the year and what kind of vegetables people bring. And so like every week, it's slightly different. And Liam even told me that one time someone brought oranges. <laughs> I asked him, did you really put it in the soup? And he said, yes, and it was actually good. I have not sold them that idea yet. I have to admit, I, I like it vegetables, but it is a beautiful. And the funny thing is that all kids in the Waldorf school who has been their whole year, they will have fond memories of the kindergarten soup. So the older kids get so excited when they get that, or sometimes even, even they hand it up. On Isabella's eighth grade trip, one of the things they requested was when they were out camping, says one day we, the, all the eighth graders wanted kindergarten soup one day. Yeah, and it's a gray, gloomy, cool day here. So it's perfect for this. And we're making the best of this situation. You know? I'm looking forward to eating. Me too. We got cabbage, zucchini, chickpeas, uh, celery, and potatoes in here. I think it's gonna be a good soup. Yeah. How is it? Is it kindergarten soup? Mm-hmm. And the bread, Noah? Look at that, but look at what beautiful bread you made. Would you like a slice, Liam? Ooh, it's hot. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe and follow us. Bye. Bye.